face in like over I think this whole month and it's kind of crazy uh, I don't know what I'm looking like got that that gurgly scratchy voice going on I just woke up right now it's currently like 8 30 right now so I'm going to get ready because today is the big day and this I think God has to go so gotta look presentable when I get there um so yeah let's see where it goes from <laughs> I guess I'm gonna, we could do the TikTok thing All right, so that is the before and after look when I had the beard. Now I look like a baby. I just got that baby face going on right now. Currently it is 9.41. I'm gonna go grab something to eat, probably some cereal, and then by 11 or 12-ish, that's when I'm gonna head out. It takes about 45 minutes, but we'll see. I might, I might leave earlier than that. So I don't know. All right, so it's currently like 12 something, almost 12.30. And I am going to head out and grab something. Grab my shoes first. So yeah, I'm gonna start heading out to the testing site and chill out there for a minute before it hits o'clock so I still have a lot of time to kill um. right, I'll put you guys right here all right I guess that works. man it's crazy to think of it that I actually took the NCLEX about a year ago marking this day it was around this time too when I took it and I don't know <laughs> I feel I feel confident no buts you know I'm just going in going in with all my knowledge that I've that I know of all right Anklex here I come let's get it So I just got my food, gonna head to the testing site and then gonna eat out there for a good 10 minutes and then head in. Hopefully I have my everything I need, ID, maybe vaccination card if needed. I don't know if it's even needed. I am hungry. chicken katsu and some spam masubi got this masubi katsu with the katsu sauce oh, let's see. oh my gosh that is actually stacked what the heck that's a lot of food
Mm-hmm. This is good. All right, so I finished eating. Um, I guess now I'm gonna go ahead and take my test. Currently, it's 1.30. I'm gonna walk in. Get everything just signed in, I guess. I need this bathroom. Um, excuse me. And then I will be done in like five hours. So that's the max limit of the time I'll be taking the test. So hopefully we have like one minute per question, two minutes, not past two minutes. All right, wish me luck. We'll see the aftermath of me. Uh, what's up, guys? So it is currently 6:17. I finished my exam earlier, around like an hour ago. But I am, I am done. Someone tried to call me. I just finished. I finished the exam on uh, three hours something, and. I don't know, I feel great, it feels different this time. I'm very positive, super smiley. Not like before, I was hella emotional, um, where I cried <clears throat> after my first exam. So, I mean, I did my best. I wasn't sleepy and answering questions. I hope I did good. <laughs> so, uh, now it's a waiting game when I get my results. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I just, I hope and pray that I pass this time. And you know, if I don't, then just keep pushing, keep going. Um, go, go one more. <laughs> no matter how many times I try getting at it, just go one more. So, uh, at this time, I'm just gonna head back home and end the day, relax, and figure it out. <laughs> so, got work tomorrow, another day. Let's talk about the NCLEX RN. All right, so if you're reviewing this video and you scrolled upon it, um, so it's been two days since I've taken the NCLEX. I challenged the NCLEX RN and I have received my results. So this morning I decided to check it out while I was getting an oil change for my car. And I happened to get the fail. The fail. The F. Yeah. So for those of you who know about the NCLEX RN, it's one of the most uh, probably challenging exams I'd say uh, that you have to face after nursing school or whichever nursing test you are taking within the states or could be outside of, Amer of America but you know in America it's the NCLEX RN and it was, a, it was a tough one I'd say especially being out of school for two years and not everything is fresh and the way you study can affect the way you answer questions as well and yeah it's just very challenging it was very challenging for me um i don't know i don't know how to talk about this it's tough i just say it. it's a tough tough thought tough thing to take in especially taking it twice and still still failing and sometimes you don't see where you're, what you're doing wrong you know I mean you answer the questions as hard as you can you try to fully understand each question and choose the right answer but you know it is what it is uh, that's the result well, well that's the fast result that I got the quick result so I still have like I think about a week before I get the actual results in the mail uh, explaining like which areas I need to focus on which areas uh, I did good on so uh, at this point now uh, all I could think about is 
just keep going at it. Go one more, as Nick Bear would say, uh, whatever challenge you're facing, keep going at it until you complete, accomplish that, you know, that goal that you're trying to attain. So, Trying to keep this as positive as possible <laughs> my my voice my tone and voice right now it's like it's all monotone and like sad depressed but like ah that's the sad part you know just having to read that you failed the exam but gotta just gotta accept it it is what it is i mean i gave my best for those of you who've taken it and challenged it and clicks rn you guys you failed just keep going at it when you can. Yeah, it's hard. But yeah, I guess that's it for this video. Um, on to the next, I guess. Gotta wait 45 days until I could reapply for the NCLEX RN again. But this time, I have a better study plan and focus on how to answer questions correctly, fully, thoroughly, understand it without rushing. Even though I didn't rush this time. Another shot. So, deuces.